what's up you guys welcome back to the channel um it's been a while since i was last on here since then i did buy this van and i ended up moving down here to texas to start my new business and i've just been busy ever since but i wanted to quickly jump on here and show you guys what i've been up to currently i do have the slow that i picked up in georgia headed to midland texas and right after drop off i will be giving you guys a more in-depth tour of the van i did about 5,000 miles last week and I've been through the snow, ice, and all that, so it's pretty filthy. Alright, so just pulled up in the middle of nowhere. But we're ready to go offload. Alright, just like that, we got our signature on the BOL and we're ready to be paid. a proper van tour so this here is a 2015 Ford Transit this here is the diesel model I got this one a little while ago um, probably four months or so so the van is a high roof with an extended body it could fit three pallets in here easily it does have a payload of up to 3200 I believe it's really good MPG. I average about 22 um, on highway. I did want to show you guys these uh, covers that I made. So that's what it looks like. It's all blacked out. And then this here is just on Velcro. So it does come off if I want to have a window. I was initially thinking of tinting it, but this way it does provide a lot more privacy so I will have a little time lapse of how I made these if you guys are interested and to make the template for this I did use some paper and then lined it up on this and cut it all around and so far it's been working really well so here's the opposite side also on velcro comes off easily so moving into the cargo space here, um, I don't know if I mentioned, but it is 14 feet long, so it does fit three pallets. And that bed frame I built, it does fold upward. And I did put this plywood on here, that way I can have the pallets slide in much easier. Let's step into here. Here I just have some essentials. Blankets are a must in the cold weather and some other stuff I have here right underneath I do have uh, straps and all other essentials that slides right under extra shoes this is a lifesaver got some tools there and my foldable bed That's what this year looks like. I do have a vest and a helmet and my safety glasses somewhere, but as some loads do require you to have PPE and yeah. I do also have blackout curtains. They work really well. I did connect these plywoods together as one would be higher than the other. I just used some connectors and made sure that it was flush. There's no issues with the pallet sliding on here. 
that's what the cargo space looks like. I do plan on putting a wall. I plan on insulating this, keeping this area warm. And then when I do get a third pallet, I plan on doing a foldable door that will fold upward this way and then close down. Most of the time I do just have either one or two pallets in here. Rarely do I have three pallets, but it would be nice to still have that feature. I do plan on getting a diesel heater in here. I think that would be nice, but for the time being, these sleeping bags are really nice. They do stay warm all the way to either zero or 10 degrees. So invest in some good sleeping bags, guys. Before we go to the front, um, I did want to tell you guys the dimensions. So from the closing of the door to the very back of my seats, it is 168 inches by 54 from wheel well to the other one. And then at my door, it is 72. So just in case you guys were wondering. All right, so coming up to the front, show you guys what this area looks like. So inside, here's a look of it. I did end up putting this wheel cover um, the original one after a while starts to feel plasticky and like holding on to uh, like a baseball bat or something. It's just really firm so I did get the soft Alcantara. Over here I have my phone and my iPad just like that and if we line it up and it's super sturdy on there won't go anywhere and gets the job done. So moving on I have my AirPods here you guys know what these are let me know in the comments below got water bottles over here I do also have all these empty shelves up here up here is where I keep my paperwork and then right here is my mirror so it does look like an ordinary mirror but when we start up the van So now with the van running, you guys can see here, well, that's a lot of reflection. All right, so I turned it around. Uh, that's slightly better. I will link it in the description. You guys are wanting this this is universal and fits any car um, it does have a front camera and a back camera front camera is right here and then the back camera I mounted it to the very top of my van and swiping through it shows you the front camera and the back camera this thing comes in handy so much and then this way you can see both of them this video was informative for some of you guys and if you guys found it interesting give it a like give it a thumbs down um, let me know in the comments and if you guys are trying to get into this also let me know so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one